हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अवर न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज कंटिन्यूइंग न्यूमेरिकल सीरीज दिस इज वन ऑफ द हाई स्कोरिंग टॉपिक एंड विद प्रैक्टिस यू कैन स्कोर अ रियली गुड मार्क्स व्हिच कैन इन्फ्लुएंस योर परसेंटाइल इन द टेस्ट एज एग्जाम इन दिस टॉपिक इट इज एसेंशियल फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट एंड ऑन द टॉप ऑफ इट यू नीड टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस सो दैट एज सुन एज द क्वेश्चन कम्स इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू you must know what kind of pattern it is this topic is all about finding the pattern and then implementing that particular pattern in the series in this particular section you need to solve 22 questions so speed is going to be the biggest key and you will acquire the speed with the practice only and please mark my word if you will choose the engineering line or the science field then sooner or later you will have to go through this topic in your academic or your professional career even after your graduation or your masters when you go out for a job all the big tech companies like to assess your aptitude knowledge and you will always see these type of questions in their questionnaires also so please work on the basics and on the top of it do a lot of practice so that as soon as the question comes in front of you you will be able to solve the question Before we proceed ahead let me take you directly to the test as official website and we browse through the topic of continuing numerical series in this topic you will be given 25 minutes to solve 22 problems in this sub test and the four basic arithmetic operations are represented like addition subtraction multiplication and division this is all what we had discussed that we will be getting four type of arithmetic operations and all the question will be on the basis of these operations only let's try to understand more about these questions each item consists of a numerical series formed according to a particular rule so this is one of the key point we need to find the what kind of particular rule is being implemented on that series and our task will be to find the next number in the series and it will be placed as a question mark So let's take an example of, uh, that is given to us. Here we have a series five, fifteen, thirteen, twenty-three, twenty-one, thirty-one, twenty-nine. So what is happening here? It is plus ten, and then we can say that uh, minus two. Again plus ten, again minus two, again plus ten, and then minus two. So again here it should be plus ten. so 39 will be our answer here and same is being illustrated to us here now let's discuss how do we have to proceed step by step first of all you take a look at the numerical series that we discussed earlier and then we have to work out the rule on which numerical series is the based upon like if this if the numbers are close to each other we can say that either subtraction or addition is being done there on the series and if the numbers are shooting or they are increasing significantly then we can say that either multiplication is being done or the division is there and then apply the rule to find the next number and you obviously have to carry out the necessary arithmetical operations and calculate the result and final that is the most important part is that we have to mark the digit on our answer sheet so let's say they have given us the example if the answer is 14 and then what we have to do we have to cross 1 and the 4 on the answer sheet so we have to give only the digits so like if it's 4 14 then we mark this question then we mark this answer like this or if the answer is 41 then again we have to mark the same digits if the answer is 41 so your answer will always as a whole number there is only provision for the whole numbers only if the answer comes 14.2 we have no provision to mark it on our answer sheet so again uh, for the number 41 again we have to mark the same thing that we had discussed if the our answer comes to be the minus 
in the third example they have given to us then this is the box for the minus and then we have to mark minus 1 and 4 so out of this what we can conclude that first thing is that your answer will always be a whole number means there will be no decimal places the second is one digit at a time like your answer will not be like this 144 or one digit cannot be replicated two times like 110 so in your your question will not be based on this now let's take few examples that are given to us on the official website of test aids so here we have example one so if at this point of time you are not able to solve your questions then it is perfectly fine so so after observing this series 25 35 something is increasing then decreasing then increasing then decreasing so with experience i came to know that this is alternate series like there is a connection between the, these alternate numbers so 25 minus 10 is 15 15 minus 10 gives us so again minus 10 is gives us 5 and 5 minus 10 gives us minus 5 and we can uh, we can also check our answer here 35 plus 10 45 45 plus 10 is 55 so it is alternate series so the answer is minus 5 now how we have to mark our answer so first of all I mark the minus box and then I'll mark the 5 so this is our answer let's take another example here here we have series 5 50 20 200 170 and 1700 so after observing this series what we can conclude that the numbers are not close to each other like 5 50 and then it's decreasing and then it's increasing then it is decreasing then it is increasing so this is the pattern that you have to observe so it is the basics of the topic is that you have to understand the pattern so now after observing this you must understand that the multiplication is happening here so if i multiply so now let's try to understand the pattern if i multiply 5 with 10 it becomes 50 and then division is not possible here so what we have so what we have to do and then we try to subtract it 50 minus 30 becomes 20 so now let's see if this pattern is being evolved in the next terms also so 20 is being multiplied by 10 and then it becomes 200 again then minus 30 so in two steps we see that our pattern is correct so we'll follow the same pattern 20 minus 30 becomes 170 and then 170 into 100 becomes 1700 and then what we have to do we have to subtract 30 out of 1700 it becomes 1670 so now how we'll mark our answer we have to mark this 1 6 7 and then 0 so this is how we're going to mark our answer on the answer sheet in the next example the series given to us is 60 66 96 100 120 and 122 so the numbers are not uh, far from each other so we can say that either uh, addition is being done so it is increase in in the increasing order so obviously the addition is being done here so we will find to we will find the difference between these two so here the difference is 6 plus 6 and then plus 30 and then plus 4 and then plus 20 and then plus 2 so and the alternate here it is decreasing by 10 so here we add it at 30 so here we add it up by the 30 and then in these two terms we add them 20 and then we add 2 and then what we have to do now we have to add here 
plus 10. So here our answer will become 132. So how we will mark our answer? 1, 3, 2. So this is our correct answer. If at this stage you are not able to get these answers, here I am just giving you an overview of what kind of test scenario we are going to get. We will discuss all these questions in detail and by the end of this topic you will be able to solve all these type of series. You will be tackle these questions very easily. In this example we are given a series that's 2, 6, 16, 64, 640 and 644. So after observing this series it is sure that the multiplication is being done here and also there is an operation of addition. So how did I come to know that the addition is also there? because we cannot divide 16 with a 6. So let's try to solve this question. So what is happening here? Plus 4, 2 plus say 4 is 6 and then here it is adding it up like plus 10. So plus 4 and plus 10. Okay then here uh, it is multiplied by 4, multiplied by 4 and then multiplied by 10. Okay, so we found the pattern. So one time it is adding up 4 and 10 and then the second step it is multiplying 4 and 10. And now we have to add up the 10 here. Like this first pattern is shifted to this side. So it answer becomes 654. And how we will mark our answer? 6, 5, 4. That's it. In this example, we are given a series 6, 18, 0, 24, minus 6, 30 and question mark. So after observing this series, all these numbers are close to each other. So we can say that either addition or subtraction is being done here. And in the next look, what I can see that sometime it is increasing, then decreasing, then increasing, then decreasing. So both these operations are being applied on the same question. So let's try to find the difference between these items. So in the first two terms, the difference is what is happening. So it is plus 12 and then minus 18 and then plus 24 and then and then minus 30 and then plus 36 so what pattern we see that uh, it is going with a multiple of 6 12 18 24 30 and 36 so it should be 42 here now it is the sign is inverting the sign is also inverting alternatively so plus minus plus minus plus here it should be minus. So if we so if we subtract minus 42 from 30, it will become minus 12. And how we will mark our answer? Minus and then mark 1 and 2. So this is it. So through these examples, I just want to give you an overview what kind of questions we are going to get, what will be the real test scenario. So let's proceed ahead with our discussion on this series. See you in the next session. Thank you.